want to explain how I got my little makeshift setup, uh, makeshift drum setup going here. Okay. So, um, having the sounds of the drum set in mind, uh, I went around the house scavenging for different uh, things that I can use. Okay, and always remember that the sound of your object must be as close to the sound of that drum set part as possible. Okay, so let's start with the, the deeper sound, okay, which is the bass or the kick drum. Okay, usually you will um, play the bass drum with a foot pedal, but because we have no foot pedal at home, right, so we are just going to play the kick drum like a normal drum like by hitting it. So what I have here, I went to look for my biggest pedal, okay, and I, came, I found this uh, red color pedal here, you can see, it's really huge, the biggest I have, and that's my kick drum, and I tilted it slightly so that it so it'll sound more resonant, and this is the sound. Okay. Um, could go lower, but um, I'm happy with it for now. Okay, next we have the snare drum. Okay, so the snare drum, uh, remember that the snare drum has snare wires, and we want to uh, re uh, replicate that, that rattling sound. So what I did was, in a container, I found some green beans, okay? And then I poured the green beans into the container, and I adjusted the amount. So that it's just nice, and then when I hit this snare drum, the green beans will actually bounce, and then it will rattle a little bit. So it will sound like that. Alright, so kind of like a mid-range sound, okay? Then we go on to, oh, oh, before I go on, let me explain this or so. So, um, you don't have drumsticks at home, just use chopsticks. Perfect, okay? And those of you who have the, the longer chopsticks, Okay, the ones that are for frying, you can also use them, okay? But the short ones are good enough. Okay, then we have the, the high tom, the mid toms, and the low toms, okay? And the sizes must get from small to large because it's from high to low. So, for my high and my mid toms, I got two containers of different sizes, okay? And then for my low tom, low toms, I got another pail. And this pail is a bit smaller than the, the kick drum. So, they sound like that. Okay, high tom, mid tom, mid tom again, okay, and low tom. So, let me play them all at one go. High tom. So, there you go, you have three different pitches, they are different ranges, okay. Next, let's move on to my hi hats, okay. Now, hi hat was the one that I took the longest to find the sound because hi hat has a very distinct ch -ch 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 sound, okay. Sound, okay, and I really wanted it to have that little rattle. So what I did was I went to find two metal wires thing. This was from I think the air fryer. And then I inverted it. Then it had some legs, and then I I I put this wire thing, like this grill thing, on top. And then I realized, anyway, it was really try and error, okay. But I realized when I hit it, it's formed. When I hit it, there's a little nice sound to it and then it was perfect. Okay? Nice. Just nice. This is the right amount of rattle. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, anyway, this is this is put over a pot. Actually, the pot, uh, you can't see it but it's uh, it's metal and it actually has a very nice bright cymbal sound. But I, I unfortunately, I can't play it so I went to find another item which is this uh, Salad, no, I think it's a drainer with holes in it and it's metal. So I, I found two metal things because the cymbals, which is the last part of the drum set, they are made of metal and I really wanted a very me metallic, plenty, uh, resonant sound. Okay, very, very, very bright sound. So this is my crash cymbal. This is um, the, the lid of the frying pan, the wok. And then I, I invert it because I, I don't want it to be muted, so I inverted it. And then, by the way, this is a, an ironing board. And then, there's this metal thing here. I use it to hold my crash symbols. So my crash symbols goes here. Okay? So this, this is my right symbol. And this is my crash. So you can hear the crash has a louder sound. So together, they will sound like this. And that's basically it. That's my whole makeshift drum set. Okay? So it's pretty easy to find to, to make. Um, it just takes time to go and find different objects and then experiment with the sound. So students, please go and experiment and find some objects around your house and make your own machine drum set. Fun!